Hi, and welcome to Fun Joy Peace. This is day 16 of our chest and shoulder opening challenge. And what we were doing was we were actually working our way up to a vinyasa flow for camel pose. So camel pose is a back bend, but it also incorporates opening up your shoulders and your chest. So I have my sister here and she is going to be demonstrating while I teach her the poses. So we hope you enjoy this vinyasa flow and we'll go ahead and get started. Meet me at the top of your mat in easy pose. Sit up nice and tall. And go ahead and close your eyes. I want you to focus on your breath. Nice big inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. And as you continue to breathe, on your next inhale, I want you to hold it for the count of four. So inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold for the count of three. And release, count of four. And continue with that for the next few breaths. And as you sit here, focusing on your breath, I just want you to get rid of any type of extraneous thoughts that may be creeping in, anything that would prevent you from being fully present in this practice. I want you to bring your hands up high to the sky and stretch out your hands towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch and gently bring a rotation to your spine by moving to the right side and over to the left. Back over to the right and over to the left. Bring your hands to center. And now I want you to take your left hand onto your right knee and bring your right hand back behind you on your right side. As you inhale, I want you to um, feel yourself lengthen and then exhale, bring, uh, rotate your uh, self to the right side. Inhale, feel your spine lengthen. And exhale, see if you can gently rotate yourself a little bit further to that right side. One more time, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, rotate gently a little bit more. And just stay here. Feel that nice stretch in the left side of your spine, bringing some movement. And gently release, back to center. Inhale, feel your spine lengthen, and exhale, plant your right hand onto your left knee, and then plant your left hand behind you. Inhale, exhale, and rotate gently. We are not jerking. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, rotate a little bit further. One more time, inhale, lengthen, exhale, rotate a little bit more. And when you're ready, gently release, coming back to center. From here, go ahead and put your hands onto your knees. And I want you to um, do a sitting cat-cow. With this, you're going to arch your back like an angry cat. Gently release cow. Angry cat. Cow. And just alternate between these two at your own pace. 
Right now we're just trying to warm up that spine to get you ready for the practice. From here, I want you to bring your left hand onto the side of your body, so right out, right there, right by the side of your mat. As you inhale, I want you to bring your right hand up overhead, leaning over to the left side, feeling that flexion. And just hold it. Two more breaths. And gently bring your hands back. This time place your right hand just off the mat onto the floor. Inhale, bring your left hand up and over your head, feeling that nice stretch along your left side body. Feeling your back start to stretch. Two more breaths. gently release. Find tabletop on your mat. Move the block over to the side. So in tabletop you're coming onto your hands and knees. Your knees are going to be directly underneath your hips and your um, wrists are stacked underneath your elbows, elbows stacked underneath your shoulders. Hands are planted into your mat like little starfish, nice and wide out. Your fingers are spread. And from here, draw your back like an angry cat. Exhale, cow. So from here, go into your own pace of cat cows. Again, we're warming up that spine. Working out any stiffness sitting all day. And come back to stationary, so neutral spine. I want you to draw your hips a little bit further in towards your heels. Stop right there. Try this again with cat cows hitting this time the thoracic part of your spine. Just that slight movement with your hips a little bit um, more towards your heels, um, that can help you target the thoracic spine. Thoracic spine is the region around your rib cage, which is sometimes a little bit stiff. A few more times. And come back into tabletop. Bring your right hand out in front of you, off the mat. Follow that with your left foot going up behind. Bring them back down onto your mat. Opposite side for bird dog. Bring it back down. Right hand out, left foot back behind you. Bring it in. Opposite side. You may find that one side is a little bit more balanced than the other. Go ahead, you can bring it back down. And opposite. Three breaths at each um, movement. So 
feel your body warming up. Bring it down one last time. This will be the final one. And release. Go ahead and lay down completely flat on your belly, on your mat. Bring your arms up overhead. Straight out directly in front of you. You may have to adjust. So I'm assuming at one point or another, we've all wished like we were Superman or um, Wonder Woman. So we're going to uh, fly for a little bit. So from here, I want you to raise your right arm and your left leg. One, two, down, opposite, down, one, two, down. For a count of two, we're gonna hold it up and then bring it back down. And here we're just bringing some activation to your glutes, but also to your upper back. Final one on this side, and then one last one on the opposite. All right, bring your hands towards your chest. Lift yourself up off of your mat into child's pose. Uh, and gently lift your upper body off of your mat and find Tadasana, so you're gonna stand at the top of your mat. In Tadasana, arms directly at your side, fingers activated like little starfish. Gently roll the shoulders back and draw them away from your ears. Inhale, bring your hands up high to the sky for Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And find a plank. So bring your hands directly out in front or onto your mat and your wrists are um, directly underneath your ankles and gently drop down to your knees and come up, down onto your belly. Move a little bit down off the mat so they can't see your head, thank you. Okay, and I want you to bring your hands out in front of you, directly out in front of you, and then gently draw them back towards your chin and your um, elbows are in towards your, um, there you go, in towards your ribs, and gently peel your upper chest off of your back, or excuse me, off of the mat, and you're placing your hand, your some of your weight into your palms. For a cobra, exhale, bring it back down onto your mat. From here, I want you to come onto the onto your knees and onto your hands. Push yourself up into a down dog. So lift your hips up and back. Hands are like little starfish. Inhale, exhale, draw the navel in towards the spine. And you can walk your feet out if you want to, to kind of warm it up a bit. And I want you to go back to a stationary down dog. Uh, bring your right foot up high to the sky. Perfect. Bring it back down. Come into child's pose. Find plank.
Gently come back onto the mat. Drop down to your knees. Bring your arms out in front of you completely. And then gently draw them back in towards your chin. Bringing in the um, elbows towards your chest or your ribs. And gently peel your chest up off of the mat for a cobra. And gently come back down onto your mat. Come onto your knees and onto your hands. Draw your hips up and back for a down dog. Three-legged down dog, so bring your left foot high to the sky. And bring it back down. And come down onto your knees. Wide-legged child's pose, so bring your knees out hip distance and gently bring your hips down to your heels. Arms are overhead. From child's pose, find plank. So bring your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Send your hips up and back, and you may have to walk your dog up a bit if you need to. Or you can stretch them out. Look to the top of your mat. You can walk or jump to the top of your mat into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands onto your shins, back nice and um, neutral. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale and rise for Urdhva Hastasana. Hands high to the sky. Hands together, heart to center prayer, hand to heart center prayer, and Tadasana. Tadasana, hands by your side. Yeah. From here, I want you to just recenter yourself. If you're feeling a little bit of discomfort from the practice already, I want you to take a nice big inhale and then release it. Exhale. Wherever you are starting to feel a little bit sore, I want you to send your breath to that particular area. Inhale, send it to the area. Exhale, feel any tension release. So inhale, bring your hands up high to the sky for Urdhva Hastasana. Bring your hands to heart center prayer and sink into a chair. So your feet can be hip distance apart or they can be together. And if you can, get a little bit lower and make sure your knees are not coming in. There we go. And we're gently going to balance on one foot. So I want you to put all the weight into your right leg, right foot, and gently lift up the left leg. And hold. And you can heel toe it on the other half if you're having a little bit issue with balance, totally so fine. And when you're ready, bring the other leg back down and gently rise up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, and find plank. So go ahead and put your hands onto the mat and you are on the balls of your feet. And gently um, come down onto your knees and you're flat on your belly. Flat on your belly, arms out in front of you. From here, we're going to go into locust. Locust is a back strengthening pose. So I want you to imagine that you are zippering your feet together
and I want you to gently raise your both feet up. So inhale, raise, exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, bring it up, exhale, bring it down. This time, see if you can lift your thighs off the mat as well. And exhale. Inhale and rise. And exhale. Bring your arms back behind you, like by your sides. And gently rest your forehead onto the mat. When you're ready, I want you to, this time, bring your upper body, peel it off of the mat. So inhale, bring your body up, exhale, bring it back down, inhale, bring it up, inhale, bring it up, exhale, down. So now that you have the first two movements together, I want you to put them together as well. So when I say inhale, I want you to bring zipper your feet. I want you to lift up your um, legs off of the mat, including your thighs, but this time we're also adding the upper body with it. So inhale and rise. Bring it back down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, and I want you to hold it. Exhale, release. Great job. Bring your hands onto your mat and come onto your knees. Find down dog. Bringing your hips up. Perfect. Right leg high to the sky. Inhale, bring that knee in towards your chest and plant the foot in between your hands for warrior two. While you're in warrior two, look at the positioning of your feet your knee should be, your front knee should be 90 degrees and it should be directly, um, your knee should be stacked on top of your ankle. And it should be straight, it should not be swaying one side or the other. Bring your arms up in a T stance. And engage your upper back by imagine if there is a magnet in between your shoulder blades, perfect. Arms should be nice and even. Bring your right elbow to your right knee and left arm is up overhead for side angle. Back to warrior two. Hold. Side angle, right elbow to right knee, left arm up overhead. If your neck feels uncomfortable, you can always bring your yoga, your yoga or drishti gaze to the floor. It's up to you. Find warrior two. And step to the top of your mat for Tadasana. Inhale and rise, bring your hands up high to the sky. Sink into chair, bring your arms to, hands to heart center prayer. This time I want you to gently start to put pressure into the left foot and, and bring your right foot up. Just let it, letting it hover over your mat or you can toe tap. And gently bring both feet down. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Find plank. Plant your hands onto the mat and you are on the balls of your feet. 
perfect. Come down onto your knees and gently lower all the way onto your belly for locust again. So again, we're gonna do it in a two-part series. So bring your um, hands out to the side of you, so by your sides. So this time, instead of doing the legs first, we're gonna do the upper body first. So go ahead, and when I say inhale and rise, you're gonna peel your uh, upper body off of the mat. So inhale and rise, peel it, exhale, bring it down, inhale and rise, exhale, bring it down. One more time, inhale, hold, exhale, bring it down. Now as for the lower body, you're gonna zipper your feet together the third feet so inhale and rise bring your thighs off the mat release inhale and rise release two more times inhale bring it up exhale release one last time inhale and release bring your arms back to the side and we're going to put it all together so inhale and rise both upper and lower body. One, two, three, release. Inhale and rise, release. Inhale and rise, release. And one more, we're gonna hold it for five seconds or five counts. Inhale and rise. And release. Great job. When you're ready, come on to your hands and your knees. Send your hips up and back for down dog. Three-legged dog, left side, so bring that foot high to the sky. Draw the knee into the chest, plant the foot in between your hands to find warrior two. So foot is going to be directly straight out, perfect. Knee should not be coming in, so it should be straight. And look at your back foot. There should be, um, your front foot should be, when you look at the heel, if I drew an imaginary line here, it should be intersecting and you may want to come up just a little bit you seem a little there you go how does that feel better okay so you were too long all right so just check that knee there we go perfect hips are facing out they're not facing forward so they're facing me and feel that magnetization between your shoulders and draw your shoulders away from your ears perfect Bring your left hand or left elbow to left knee. Bring your right arm overhead. For side angle, you can always look at the floor. Find warrior two. Arms out in front. 90 degree bend in the knee, the front leg. And you are pressing the weight of your foot into the back leg into the knife's edge. Side angle, again, placing the left elbow into the left knee, right arm overhead, warrior two, and step to the front of your mat for Tadasana. Tadasana, your feet can be together or they can be uh, hip distance apart. In, uh, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, bring your hands up high to the sky. And exhale, bring your right leg back for a high lunge. High lunge, your knees a little bit higher up. There you go. And gently bring a slight tilt to your pelvis. So you're bringing your pelvis forward. There you go. 
So this is a great stretch for your hip flexor. So you may, it may feel slightly uncomfortable, but it's a great way to stretch that hip. And bring your arms into cactus arms. So I want you to bring them out into a T stamp. There we go. But 90 degree angle in the elbows. So parallel to the mat. And I want you to feel the, your, um, the shoulder blades ignite. So relax your shoulder blades. You're still having them up at the 90 degree angle. Relax your shoulder blades and then feel that magnetization by activating it and then relax. Relax, or I'm um, sorry, activate. And relax and gently have your right knee come onto your mat for a low lunge. So now that you're here, I want you to hinge forward there you go, feeling that nice stretch in your hip flexor. Come back to center in that low lunge and I want you to bring your left leg onto your mat. So I want you to bring, bring that other knee down. And from here, I want you to gently come back and then forward, come back, forward, two more times, one more, and this time bring your right foot out in front of you, so you're going to bend that knee and gently rise up for a high lunge on the opposite side. Bring your arms out to 90 degrees for cactus arms and ignite your upper back and gently release and do that a few more times. And bring your knee down onto your mat for a low lunge, hinge forward come back to center and I want you to come um, bring your glutes to the mat come onto your butt oh. bring your arm bring your um, legs out in front of you reach forward just a bit okay lay completely flat on your back Bend your knees, and I want you to bring your heels in towards your glutes. I want you to put the weight of your body into your heels and press up. Bring it down. One more time. Bring it down. Two more times up for bridge down you got one more bring it up and completely back down now I want you to come back onto your knees I want you to be on the balls of your feet so your heels are up, okay? What I want you to do is, we're now going into our peak pose camel. So I want you to kind of bring one hand onto one of the ankles and then come back up. Opposite side. Right side. Left, nice and slow, hold it there. Bring it back up. Now this time I want you to kind of grab your heel. Hold it. Gently come back up. 
left side. Come back up. Now we're going to bring the two together. So you're going to actually engage your hip flexors here. So bring your right arm back, left to follow, and just hold here. And just breathe. Two more breaths. Gently release the right arm and gently come up, followed by the left. You want to do that again? <laughs> That's <I'm> good. Okay, <laughs> your choice. All right. That was the, that was a back bend. So now we're going to go into a child's pose. So wide legged. So that way you have room for your chest and your belly. And just give your back a break, a sweet release that it wants. We're gonna do 10 breaths here. And now I want you to walk your hands over to the right side and they can be off your mat, but it's totally fine. Right now we're just kind of cooling down by stretching out your back because you guys did work it out today. And gently walk it over to the left side of your mat. back to center with your hands. And we're now going to begin cooling down, but for this one, I'm going to need you to come into a down dog. So I want you to come onto your hands and onto your knees. When you're ready, lift your hips up and back. We're going to go into pigeon, and I like this transition the best. So right leg up high to the sky, plant the knee in between your, um, oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> in, so knee to chest, and then you bring your, leg, your right leg down onto your mat. Um, go ahead and grab a block, and I want you to place that underneath your right hip. If you are tight in the hamstrings, that's not going to work. better yep. there you go you don't really want any part of your body kind of free falling so or hanging in the air so we're gonna stay here for a little bit if it's within your practice and you can you can always bring your upper body down onto your mat um, if you want to you don't have to and we're gonna stay here for five breaths and then we're gonna switch over to the opposite side When you're ready, gently lift off of your right leg and send that leg back, back into a down dog, um, three-legged dog, left leg up high to the sky, knee into chest, 
plant your leg down onto the mat. And you may want to situate yourself with the blocks. So go ahead and put block or you can do a blanket underneath that hip just to make sure that um, you're comfortable while you're in this stretch. Um, your knee, your leg doesn't actually have to be 90 degrees. It's totally fine if it's at like a 45 degree angle. Few more breaths here. And when you're ready, you can gently come up off of your blocks and come down to your knees and swing on over on your glutes. So butt to the mat and lay down completely on your mat. You may want to move the blocks a little bit. And I want you to lay completely flat and bend the right leg. And I want you to draw it over to the left side for a spinal twist. If your knee cannot touch the ground, you can always put blocks underneath it. Feel that nice stretch. Can you feel it? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to hold here for a few more breaths. Nice big inhale. Send it to your glute and your back that's being stretched out. ready you can bring that right leg back over and we're going to repeat this on the opposite side so go ahead and bend that left leg straighten out your right leg and draw your left leg over you can stack it and bring your left leg over to the opposite side come back and release. For your final pose, Shavasana. So go ahead and completely flat on your mat. Your hands can be on your belly. It can be on the floor. It's up to you. Some people like to grab a blanket to feel more comfortable. But just relax and just take in the practice that you just participated in.
Take a nice big inhale, and I want you to start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. And you go ahead and bend your knees. And I want you to windshield wipe them from right to left. When you're ready, come on to your right or left side. Typically the right, but that's fine. And gently push yourself up into easy pose. So, or Indian style, as what we used to say as uh, kindergartners. And I want you to bring your hands to heart center prayer. One big inhale, exhale, release. One more big inhale. Exhale, relief. And thank you so much for joining us for this practice. <laughs> this is my sister, Ari. And again, I'm Elena. I'm with Fun Joy Peace. And thank you so much for joining us. If you guys have any comments or questions, please just let us know. Um, I'm more than happy to get back to you. But you enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope that this helps um, open up your chest and your shoulders as well.